Hello lovely fans. We are asked to find the derivatives of y equals 8x to the power of 4 and y equals 20x to the power of 10 plus 4x to the power of 3 plus 5 with respect to x, okay? That is with respect to x. Now, first of all, we start from the smallest so that you are going to understand what differentiation is all about. Let's do that. Solution. Solution, okay? First of all, we let's do number one, which is A. They said that our y is equal to 8x raised to the power of 4. Now, they ask us to differentiate y with respect to x. Whenever they say differentiate, just know it's what? The y with respect to what? The x. Just write that, the y, the x. Okay. Now, this is equal to, this is very easy. It's very easy because all you need to do is 4. That is the power of your x, 4 times 8. So, you are going to have 8 times 4 here. Okay. Then write your x for them. Write their x for them again. Then this 4 you have here, subtract 1 from it. Do you understand what I did? 4 times 8. 4 times 8. Okay. Write your x for them. You write your x for them. Then 4 minus what? 1. That is all I did. Okay. Now, having done that, you go ahead and solve this. So it means that the y over the x is equal to x times 4 is what? 32. You write your x for them. 4 minus 1 is what? 3. And that is your answer. You see, I thought it's a very easy something. Now, I want you to use this. Now, we're going to use this now to solve what? A more, uh, more, it's not even more difficult. They just added more numbers here. So, let's all solve the second one. So, which is this one? We have that what? y is equal to 20x raised to the power of 10 plus 4x raised to the power of 3 plus 5. Okay, so as usual, you do your what? dy over dx is equal to, okay? dy over dx is equal to 10 times 20, right? 20 times 10, like I said. You write your x for them. Then you subtract 1 from 10 again. 10 minus 1. You are through with this one. Plus, you have 4 and 3. 3, we multiply this 4. So you are going to have 4 times 3, okay? Then you write your x again. Raised to the power of what? 3 minus 1. You understand? 4 times 3. You write your 4 times 3. Write your x. Then write your 3 and subtract 1. That is it. Plus, but once you have a constant, the y, the x of any constant is 0. That is this 5 because it is a constant because it doesn't have any variable, which is x or y. Any variable at all. So because it's just 5, when you differentiate it, you are going to get 0. Differentiation of 10 is 0. Differentiation of 1 is 0. Differentiation of 20 is 0. Once it doesn't have any x or y. So we are going to have plus 0 here. So, so we are going to solve this now. We have that dy all over the x is equal to 20 times 10 will give us what? 200. We write our x again. 10 minus 1 will give us what? 9. You write your 9. Plus 4 times 3 will give us what? 12. You write your 12. Write x. 3 minus 1 will give us what? 2. This one is 0 now. Okay? So, you notice that the y, the x of this one will give you 200 x raised to the power of 9 plus 12 x raised to the power of 2. If this is the first time you are coming across my channel, please subscribe. Alright? So that you'll be notified anytime I upload something like this. Do have a lovely day and bye!